Now I invite our guest of honor, Dr. Raj Kumar Khatri sir, to please come and share his knowledge and expertise on the subject matter. Please come. आप सबको सत्सुख Dignities on the dais and off the dais. At the outset, my grateful thanks to Nambeet Purana Ji, Dr. Shashi, that you have given me an opportunity to interact with some persons men and women who possess information, knowledge and wisdom about education. I do not have any special qualification to advise or suggest anything in particular to this esteemed gathering. But I am aware of everyday challenges that an educator, a principal, or a management personnel faces. Manmeet Kurana ji talked about empowering the education. What, what exactly is the dimension that we can look into when we talk about the empowerment? Maybe through the cultural diversity, what I find these days, there is an absolutely race towards the inclusion of technology and ed-tech tools. We should do this also, we should do this also. The digital literacy, the computer literacy, that seems to hog the limelight, not only in the higher education arena, but also in the school education. But there's another very big dimension that the Indian culture, Indian ethos have emphasized over many centuries. You look at Vedas, you look at Gita, you look at Purvani. I'm sure many of you would have read much more than what I could read or understand. But one thing is very sure, they have focused on gaining knowledge and wisdom from education. To be a literate is not enough. You need to go beyond it. So what exactly can we look at that? If you recall, there is a two sayings I would recite, Vidya Dadati Vinyam. And there is another one, Vidyaya Sa Vimukta. Do you feel that the kind of education we impart to our children serves these purposes. Higher we go, the Ivy League we attend, more arrogant we are. We clear IIT, we clear UPSC, become IAS, IPS, and more arrogant we are. Largely. Exceptions may be there. Students don't have chance for joyful learning. And it is very difficult for educators to go beyond the curriculum and look at each child and see that she or he develops into a happy person, good citizen. Where are the focus on critical thinking, on empathy, on problem solving? These are the issues if we are able to lay emphasis by devoting slightly more time from the regular routine of teaching and learning, perhaps will empower our education. That's my submission to this August gathering. Thank you very much.